हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम बैक मैं हूं आपका अपना टीस टेक्निकल एंड टुडे हम गोइंग टॉक अबाउट माय एक्सपीरियंस विद द पिक्सेल एक्सपीरियंस रॉम ऑन माय Xiaomi 11T Pro आई हैव इंस्टॉल्ड पिक्सेल एक्सपीरियंस प्लस GSI ऑन माय फोन एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर अबाउट माय एक्सपीरियंस विद विद दिस रॉम इफ यू लाइक व्हाट यू सी इन द वीडियो डू प्रेस द लाइक बटन डू शेयर इट विद योर फ्रेंड्स एंड डू सब्सक्राइब द चैनल इट विल हेल्प मी अ लॉट सो लेट्स बिगिन Xiaomi 11T Pro comes with a Samsung's E5 AMOLED display with 6.67 inches in size and 120 hertz in refresh rate. It comes with dual speaker tuned by Harman Kardon. The back cameras, the primary camera is 108 megapixel Samsung sensor with an 8 megapixel ultra wide and a 5 megapixel telephoto macro lens. A 16 megapixel front camera and a 5000 mAh battery which can be charged with the speed of 120 watts with the charger included in the box. The phone comes with dual cell battery that is 2500 mAh each for the protection and long lasting battery life. So let's start with our tests now. The very first thing I would like to show you about this device is the gaming performance. How is the gaming performance in the Pixel Experience ROM? Then I will like to show you that I have downloaded New State, that is the PUBG New State, and Call of Duty as the PUBG or the BGMI is banned here in India. That's why I have downloaded the New State, and I will show you on the camera the loading time. That's why I am using a different phone, that is Realme GT Master, to record this video. And the game is played on my Xiaomi's 11T Pro. You can recognize it very easily using the back panel. Here's the game. It's loading. I will be showing it to you on camera, and I think it's loaded. Yeah, I think it's loaded. Why this, there is no? Okay, it's loading. Actually, I don't play this game, so I don't know how it, the loading screen looks like. And there is an ad. I will turn off the ad again and add, 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 add. What makes them earn money? So they will give you ads. First of all, I would like to show you the configuration that is the graphic settings, which is important for every gamer out there. If you go to the graphic settings, there is 90 FPS available even on the Pixel Experience is in this phone. But there is no extreme available. If you want to go to max settings, then you can go till ultra. you can't use extreme even on low if you like to switch on low extreme is not available the quality is not supported on this device here as shown but 90 fps is available and you know one thing i would like to tell you about this rom which is not unique but is very you know useful that it has a full fledged game mode you can see this arrow here this black arrow if you click on this it will show you the game mode the game mode has many options like you you can even do youtube live gaming with this game mode here there is one screenshot option and one recorder option also available you will see the shortcuts here if you click on this you can simply screenshot the game like when when you are in the game you can click on the screenshot and it took the screenshot it is showing the fps here the full fledged fps meter and the recording is also available when you click on the recording it will ask you that what do you want to record like <coughs> if you want audio just click on the audio yes i want the audio and you know what's the good thing about this device that you can device record the device audio or the microphone audio or if if you want both of the them then there is device audio and microphone audio both simultaneously option is also available simultaneously so you can do them simultaneously i will just switch off these recording and screenshot options and will only focus on the fps for now and because as i have chose 90 fps let's see but let's start a game and check if this switches to 90 fps or not let me check 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 let me enter the game then i will resume the video again okay so the gaming mode has started and you can see 
in the video if it's on 90 fps yes it's it is on 90 fps let's play and check how is the frame rates going on the video is on 30 fps the, uh, the video i am uploading on youtube is on 60 will be on 60 fps that's why it may not be you know you know may not be able to get from the video that if it's running on 90 fps or not but let me just I don't play this game, you know. I don't play this game to highway, you know, very noob. I'm a noob player in shooting games. As I told you it, I don't play them. Wow. Where are the enemies? I can't see them. Okay, here is one. <laughs> and he killed me again. Let me show you with the audio. Okay, at least I got one kill. Someone killed me again. And you, this, whatever this game is, it's not showing who is killing me from where, but PUBG Mobile shows it. And who killed you from where, even the BGMI show. Okay, someone is standing here. What the hell, master? I'm killed again. Okay, so let's move on to the Call of Duty and I want to show you the settings of Call of Duty now. So now we are in Call of Duty and let me show you the graphic settings here. When we go to the graphics, we will be on very high with max frame rates. There is no 90 FPS available on Call of Duty in any phone. So very high and max frame rate. High frame rate is the max available on any phone out there. So now we will play a multiplayer game and we'll check how is the performance of this phone in the multiplayer. We will go to the core. Okay, so I will, would like to show you one thing. HD resource pack is also downloaded. We will be playing the summit map for, you know, one or two minutes and we'll check the performance of the game. And by the way, I would like to tell you that the phone there is no air conditioning in the room neither any fan going moving and the phone is not heating as it used to heat in miui this phone used to heat a lot in miui this really heats a lot in miui and this game sucks in you know matching the teammates let me match it and then i will come back so matchmaking done let me check the frames it's on 30 seriously bgm uh, call of duty 30 frames okay it now moved to 60 fps mm. volume is full i don't know why the sound is not coming let me check yeah there is no sound in the app let me check in the sound I don't know let it be let's just play the game and check the frames I'm not noticing any of the frame drops or anything right now there's enemies let me go and kill them okay fine dun 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 go to the enemy's base Please die, man. You can't kill me. Somebody is killing me. Okay, here are the enemies. Okay, I'm died. Fine, fine. Let's move on to other our next videos. Next test. Next things. Next talks. So now starting with our next test, that is the camera test, which is the one of the most important thing for every person out there at his camera. And I would like to show the night pictures. The I will focus on the night pictures more because that's the place where you can check the camera. The daylight photos in you know any phone which cost more than few pounds, few dollars, few rupees. You know above two hundred and fifty dollar phone that is above twelve hundred twelve thousand rupees phone takes good photos. So that's why I'm showing in the video that. The performance in the daylight is okay, it's good. I took 2-3 photos and then moved to the night performance. These are the daylight photos, now I move to the night. I would like to tell you one thing. 
that I chose a place that is Lulu Mall with blue lightings because blue light is something which is the most difficult to capture by any camera of this world. Blue light is something which is difficult even by human eyes to capture but still this camera took good photos of the blue light even the blue light you can see them clearly the cars the images the people the bike i can see them clearly you can see them clearly camera took some good shot even after zooming a bit the photos aren't losing you know the clarity this is from the normal camera that was from the ultra wide and this is from the main lens that is 108 megapixel which will be toned down to 12 megapixel whenever you gonna check the size this was from the ultra wide that is 8 megapixel photo and this was from the main lens moving to the macro lens and you can see that the macro lens did a very good job but i would like to tell you that here i have switched on the night mode the best thing about the google camera is that you can use night mode with all the three lenses even with the front camera you can see that i have zoomed to 8x on this photo it was on ultra wide then on the main lens and then i zoom from 8x still the photos were clear these were the photos from you know front camera front camera with night mode off and the next photo will be the front camera with night mode on night mode really made a difference on my face you can see the whiteness on my face it was a good experience with the night mode camera it was on the time of dusk in the late dusk time that is the sun has just gone down and i can see clearly that the camera took decent shots good details everything was good the only thing was that it was when completely dark i will show you in the photos ahead when it was completely dark photos just lost their charm it was 10x zoom the chandra written and the lulu hypermart written was on the 10x zoom i was just trying to see if it take the photo you can see where is that lulu hypermart written and it was on 10x zoom i was trying to take some still shots that's why here i just kept the camera on the back seat of my bike and it took photos clearly of the sticker on my fuel tank this was from the macro lens i tested all the camera with you know different things i got in the environment this was written 220 on my bike and it took the photo very clearly i was seriously impressed with the google camera it was on the 10x and this was the normal photo and this was on the time of dusk it clearly lost the details while zooming the photos it was the complete dark you can see some blue light in the sky above but it was completely dark i don't know from where it took the blue light photos completely dark photo really lost all the details now let's move on to our video test shooting this video on the 4k 60 fps from this phone that is Xiaomi 11T Pro and the audio is also being recorded via its internal microphone i would like your experience i would like to know your you know your thoughts about the audio quality and the video quality using the gcam on the pixel experience using from this phone there are a lot of leaves outside let me little bit zoom in and show it to you how is the zooming performance and you can zoom up to 5x on the gcam mode i'm using the color reproduction are very good i think it feels super clear at least on my screen let me check it when we i upload the video let me switch to 10k 30 fps and so how it will perform shooting this video on 1080p 30 fps from this phone and literally i can't find much difference between the video quality the only difference is of frames per second because of the lower fps speed let me walk i'm walking so fast there is super stable mode to let me check if it works now shooting the video in active stabilization mode but i don't think if it's working because i can see the jerk on my screen
देर आर सम पी एच एच रिलेटेड सेटिंग्स मैंशनड इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स डू रीड दैट सेटिंग पेज सेटिंग कमेंट because it is important for your audio and camera and even for your VOLTE that is voice over LTE to work do read that section don't forget to read that section from the description box the settings you need to enable after flashing this raw let's just move to our next section two things i did not like about this phone at all first was the launcher for which i am using the launcher 2 from the play store and second was the native camera app for which i am using the gcam and you will get the link for that gcam mod in the description box below so guys it's really an amazing experience to run this rom in my phone i use this rom as a daily driver in my phone from past one month i installed this rom when it was on june patch I upgraded to the July patch and will be upgrading to the August patch as soon as the ROM will come out. If you want to know that how to install this ROM in your phone, that I have made a video in my native language that is Hindi and it's already on the channel. The link to which I will give in the description box below. Soon I will be making a video in English also because I saw many foreigners interest in watching the video of how to install this ROM in the phone too. so i will be making a video in english soon stay tuned to my channel for that anyways that's it for now thank you and have a nice day it's good to be here with you and i would like to know your suggestions and your experience with the rom in the comments down below tab tak liye main chalta hu jai hind